Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your August 6th through the 12th weekly reading. Typically my readings are love readings so that's what I focus on. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Keep in mind that some of this will feel right, some of it will feel wrong. If you know, it may or may not resonate. It is what it is, right? That's a powerful card, isn't it? A lot of you aren't going to like it because you don't want to hear it. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Looks to me like two people are. You know, many of us deceive ourselves because of pride. Many of us allow ourselves to be deceived because of pride. I will keep the mask on and not see the truth because I'm too proud to accept it. And that's a big problem for Leo's, huge. And I'm not afraid to say it. I have some bitter, angry people. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Bitter, angry people. That are Leos. Taking on this energy. Because they don't want to hear it. They want to keep that mask on. And they don't want Jennifer to expose the truth. Or to hear the truth. Or to tell them the truth. So there, this is bitter and anger. It just flew right out of the deck. So I got one Leo in particular. Her name is Erin. And she just goes and she dislikes all my videos. And you know what? I don't care. I really don't. Feel free, Erin. Have at it. The rest of you can do it too. If you're bitter and angry and resentful because I peel that mask back, feel free. I don't have, I could care less. That's true bitterness. That is true bitterness. Somebody that has to be that petty. That's true pettiness. It is. Petty, childish behavior. Truly. Poor, poor me. There's no victory in success, holding on to resentment, holding on to anger, holding on to bitterness, wearing a mask, but there's no victory in success. I don't want to hear anything negative. If it's negative, don't. why do you got to say it? Because life isn't always positive, honey. It ain't. And if you think it is, you're lying to yourself. And if you can't hear anything negative, then you better you better grow up. You need to find the strength and the perseverance to keep fighting even when things hurt. Even when you hear things you don't want to hear. You got to remain strong and let go of that wounded warrior mentality. Wake up call, awakening. The 
Secrets. Denial. Denial. There's that mask. Denial. That's She's got mask on. Someone is wearing a false self mask. And Leo, it's you. It's you. And I don't give a shit if you like me. Somebody has to accept the truth and wake up. Wake up. Somebody's reluctant. To give up. To stop playing a game that is causing a lot of resent. This is a person who is immature. It is. Look the card up, please. It's a person who is immature with a self-image problem and does not want to hear anything bad. Living in a bubble. Don't come in my bubble. That's a lie. Bad luck, bad karma. Bad luck, bad karma will continue to plague you and haunt you and poke you until you listen to your intuition. But refusing to accept the truth, ignoring the truth, ignoring your intuition, ignoring the plan, trying to fight it, is gonna cause bad shit to happen until you start listening. Stop deceiving yourself. Secrets, secrets. Please, I don't want them to be revealed. I don't even want to hear them. I'm in 100% denial, and I like it. And don't talk to me in that tone either, you bitch. Take off the mask, and my tone will change. But I am not going to pretend like you are. It's time for you to wake up and smell the roses. There's no victory and success with whatever this situation is that you're lying to yourself about. Trying to pull the wool out of over everybody else's eyes. You can't fool the universe. The universe will continue to bring you troubles and bad luck and bad karma until you start listening. You have to listen. Don't listen. That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. Don't listen. Eventually, you will receive an awakening. You will receive an epiphany that moves you forward. But right now, you're pretty confident that you know it all. But that's not right. You have no fear. It's only hurting other people. not working hard enough you're not work this is not working hard enough this is somebody who doesn't do the right thing they could care less who they hurt no shit it's connected to you because of your pride 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 you need to walk away from a situation that is emotionally unfulfilling But you're weak and you're unable to master your emotions. You need to find the confidence, the courage, the strength to hold your head up high and take the lead. Be the boss. 
of your own life. Stop allowing deception to play a part. Regain your focus. Regain your concentration. You're allowing yourself to be deceived and you're deceiving yourself by allowing yourself to be deceived. And you can hate me all you want. I am not going to lie to you like you lie to yourself. Victim mentality. Unable to master your emotions. Like I said, take the lead, be the boss. You're in a one-sided situation and you deserve more and you don't even know it. You're being controlled by another situation or another person and you're allowing it. Because you don't want to put in effort. Many of you already hate me and that's fine, I don't care. You don't want to put in effort to go after what you deserve. Don't want any chaos, afraid to take the next step. Player, playing. Not acting with integrity. Not doing the right thing. Blocking yourself from achieving goals because you don't even know what you deserve. There's no victory in success. No progress is going to be made because the wheel can't spin in a positive manner because you're blocking it from happening. You're blocking the positiveness you're blocking the wheel of fortune. You're blocking the good things. This is blocking the good things. You're blocking victory and success by wearing a mask. Could be a third party situation and you know it. You know it. Somebody else is involved. But you just want happiness. I'm looking for happiness happily ever after. That's all I want. And I will do whatever I have to do to get it. Even if there's no victory and success. In, in, in how I feel. I want it. It's all I can think about. I need this. Status. Relationship status. That everything is happy and joyful. But it's not. There's too many conflicts. It's a lie. There's a contract that needs to end. Probably because there's a third party situation, but you're in so much denial. It's like you believe you. I, you know, just lie to me, baby. I'll believe you. Something is not meant to be. You can try to switch this and hate me and give me the finger and fuck you, you bitch, all you want. Something is not right. And I don't have any Leos in my life. False love. False.
If you want help, if you want happiness, you have to take off the mask. You have to. It has to end so that you can have a new beginning. You have to accept the truth. You have to wake up. You do. You need to listen. You need to stop lying to yourself and everybody else involved because of your pride. With endings bring new beginnings, but there's a commitment that isn't real. There's too much discontent. Why are you lying to yourself because you're weak? Find the strength that you have. Find it to peel back that mask and wake up and accept the truth. There's no victory and success in this lie, whatever it is. It's not gonna it's not gonna change anything. You're just gonna continue to suffer with that wheel of fortune reversed. You will continue to suffer. The universe will continue to bring bad shit into your life until you start listening to your intuition and end something that is going nowhere. And this could be a mental ending, I don't know. Some of you guys will try to, to lie even more and say, oh no, this isn't about love. It's about, you'll try to make something up. This is about something else because, you know, that's, that's the ultimate fucking lie. <laughs> Receiving. Receiving. You are so loved. Your every need is witnessed and responded to by the universe. However, you sometimes forget this. It says that. You forget it. You become swept up in the momentum of habitual consciousness and you forget to take a moment to stop, breathe, and be. In that moment, you can receive the love of the universe that is receiving you. It will nourish you with contentment and energy. You've not done this enough, so your soul is becoming parched and it's drying out. Energy has been going out of you, but there is not enough coming back in. You are being, there's an energy thief here. There is with this, wherever it is, it's the Knight of, of Swords, which is buried under, that's an energy thief. But you're in denial, you, you, whatever. Energy has been going out of you, but there is not enough energy coming back in. It is time to bring something back in for you. To receive and be received. You are being offered a chance for restoration now. To feel nourished, cared for, and loved. Accept it. You deserve it. You need to surrender any guilt or shame you feel for having needs in the first place. You deserve. You deserve to be loved. Enough with the false modesty and guilt. Enough. It says enough with the, most, the false modesty and guilt. You are a radiant sun in human clothing. An exquisite life experience in your birthright. Enjoy it. Soak it up. All of it. You deserve to receive. Let it all go and it will all flow. But you're not letting something go. Something needs to end and you are in 100% denial and I know it. I know it.
with endings bring new beginnings but there's some sort of commitment that isn't it isn't content it's not solid and you know what it is It's time to give up the fight. So that you can be happy and receive what you deserve. There's an opportunity for happiness and bliss. When you stop trying to control, clinging to control, you have to let go of this false romance. That's what this is. You need to wake up. Release and listen to your intuition, which you're not, it's in reverse. Keeping this lie, this secret alive will only bring you bad luck. Talk to you later.